Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to your special RHL Championship matchup. I'm your host, Jason Stitcher. This game between Puck Dynasty in green and the Barbarians in red. I'll be joined periodically by Luke Taylor, who will be assisting me with color commentary and other other matters. Puck Dynasty hits out of his own. Andrew Kramer gets it to Brennan. Brennan now moving with the puck. Tried to get it to the center back to Andrew, but the Barbarians intercept. Barb of the Barbarians. Pushing into the neutral zone, but Diane Leitner hits it right out. Jason Maxstein with the puck now. Advancing into the neutral zone. Seth Wiener tries to cut him off, but Jason recovers nicely. Long jump in by Jason. Ed will retrieve for Puck Dynasty. Cannot clear out of the zone, though. Wendy, or uh, Barb is there for him. Number seven, Benson now with the long shot. Just wide of the post. Another shot is steered aside by Kevin Shea, who is in net. For Puck Dynasty, Ryan Zorman subbing in net for the Barbarians. Seth Wiener, not able to clear it out, turned over to Marty. The Marty shot goes wide. Ryan Slasky now tried to get a shot in, could not do so. Puck Dynasty putting on the shots. They've had numerous chances, but all of them have gone wide thus far. And Brennan finally, no, is not able to get out of the zone yet. Barb putting on some great defense, but the puck finally comes out. But Puck Dynasty is able to hit it back in. Offside is the call. No, high sticking is going to be the call here against. Against Andrew Kramer. That's the call. So Puck Dynasty will be shorthanded, and Andrew Kramer will sit on the bench for two minutes or until a goal is scored during the power play, whichever comes first. I'm joined now by Luke Taylor. Luke Taylor, how are you doing today? Good, thank you. Good. You, you know these two teams well. Can you tell me a little bit about what you expect in this matchup? Well, I think, uh, I think Red's going to come out pretty strong to the beginning. Let's see what happens. The yeah, Barbarians have, have won, are there the defending champions. They won last season, and they are, if I'm not mistaken, Luke, undefeated in their entire I, I franchise right. history. They have not lost a single game in RHL. Will Puck Dynasty hand them their first loss and in the championship no less? We will see. Mike Medina working with the puck now. Unable to clear the zone. Barbarians again doing a good job sustaining these drives. It is kept in again. Shot goes wide. Amy tries to clear it for Puck Dynasty. Cannot do so. Kevin Shea steers a shot aside. Good job by him and Ned. Puck goes off of referee Suds and is kept alive for the Barbarians. Here to side to front, off the post, no goal. Jason Maxstein with the quality chance, but the post saved the day for Puck Dynasty there. Lou, swing and a miss. His stick is tied up a little bit. He will finally clear the zone, but it will be, it will not be icing there on the PK. I was about to I say it was icing. I think that's the first clear in what, three minutes? Something like that, yeah. Not much time left on the Barbarians penalty, or power play rather. They advance in the zone once again. Looking for a pass to their teammates. They will choose to take it behind the net. And it is along the boards now. Good point pass there to Marty. A shot attempt is blocked aside by Puck Dynasty. Puck Dynasty still having trouble clearing the zone. Barbarians with a suffocating offense right now. So no goals have been scored yet. Lou now with another clear. 15 seconds on the power play for the Barbarians, so if they want to capitalize, they have to do so quickly. Seth tried to intercept, swing and a miss, though. Diane Leitner will be back. He will attempt to clear. It goes up to Seth. Seth is, takes a spill, but it is out of the zone. Andrew Kramer comes out of the box, but is unable to make a play on the puck. Marty was there for it. Ben Schnabel now putting some defense on Marty. Pass to the point, a shot is blocked by Diane. I don't think she realized it, but her stick was able to deflect the puck, the puck away along the board. Still kept in. And still in. Again, Puck Dynasty is finally able to clear, but it took them a bit. Dumped in by the Barbarians. Dumped deep by Puck Dynasty, no ice here. Ryan Dorman will steer it aside and allow his Barbarians teammates to play it. Played up the boards. 
Seth is unable to keep it in. Ben is able to whack out of the air, pass to Diane, but it got by her. So the Barbarians will once again try to get a drive going, but they are thwarted by Brennan. Brennan now tried to get a centering pass to Andrew, who was waiting in the wings there, but Ryan is able to cover up the puck and prevent that opportunity from materializing. Face off to happen at blocker side. Referee Suds wearing a Washington Capitals baseball cap. I did not see that coming, ladies and gentlemen, but it has happened. Shot and a save by Ryan. What a save there. Those shots off the face off are, are quick and they are deadly, but Ryan was able to smother it up and prevent a rebound. So we'll do it again in the same spot. Barbarians win that face off, but Brennan is able to keep it in. Diane there is able to keep that puck in. Still in, pass to Andrew, but it bounces weirdly off his stick. Andrew Kramer now, shot. A good deflection there by Jason Maxstein. The Barbarians will advance. Good job by Jake Hasner in cutting off the angle of the shooter and preventing a quality shot chance. That's a great play. Great play by Andrew Kramer there. As Luke just mentioned, picking the pocket of the Barbarians player and able to loft the puck out of the zone. Jason Maxey now with the pass up the boards to Brian. Brian Slasky now with the shot saved by Kevin Shea. He lost uh, sight of the puck for a second. Fortunately for him, it went behind the net, off the wall, and he was able to cover it up as it trickled back to him. I will pause the, bro the broadcast briefly, folks. Uh, for time purposes, see you in a second. 